Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. You guys have started this new workout program that requires 100 push-ups a day and um, I think it sucked all the humor out of me. I know you're thinking, Hiram, what humor? <laughs> but I just, uh, it just, it's taken all the energy out of me and no amount of coffee is helping and it's really frustrating me. <laughs> Normally coffee is my saving grace, but how the fuck am I supposed to be funny if I can't even lift my arms higher uh, than up here? Oh, I'm not meant to be active. Today's video is one that is so long overdue. I don't even know how, like what, why haven't I posted this before? I always look through you guys' requests and I've seen a lot of you guys asking me for a face mask video and I'm like, oh, I've done a lot of face mask videos. I don't really need to do one until I was looking through my previous videos and I've realized I've never done a dedicated face mask video before. I realized that and I was like, sacre bleu. Dust mine eyes deceive me. For real, I was like, how the fuck do I have a skincare channel and I haven't made a face mask video before? Like, doesn't that go against the laws of the universe or something? I swear. So I figured since I haven't done this one before, why not start off with a banger? The best face masks of all time. My favorite ones that I've ever used, the ones that will always bring the results every single time. Ones that I can count on in a moment of need. Now, here's my approach to face masks. I think face masks are great, but I tend to overlook them a lot because I don't consider them to be a necessary part of a skincare routine. They're amazing, they can deliver really good results, but they're not something that I use really frequently or I feel the need to use really frequently because in my opinion, the perfect skincare routine already takes care of all the problems that you're facing to where you don't even need a face mask. And it's funny because as I was going through some of my favorite face masks, I started to realize I never really use these anymore because there's really just no need when you have a rock solid skincare routine figured out. But I know that's not the case for everyone and face masks are so much fun because they're just the time that you can just focus on yourself. <laughs> Me time. <laughs> but for real, they're like a therapeutic spa-like experience, kind of treat yourself sort of feeling, and they deliver really good instantaneous results, which from time to time can be very fun. But I won't get too deep into my philosophy regarding face masks. If you guys do want a video about that, I'm happy to go into detail there because I may have some opinions that go against popular culture, but I mean, hey, what's new? Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm gonna be organizing these products by category depending on what type of face mask that they are. And all the face masks that I'm talking about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you guys do feel like purchasing any of these, feel free to use those links. I make a small commission that helps to support me and my channel. And I would really appreciate it if you do feel like purchasing anything, but no pressure whatsoever. As always, they're just there as a resource. Thanks guys. So let's start with hydrating, soothing face masks. These are great masks for just making sure that your skin is moisturized, you feel plump, hydrated and soft afterwards, your skin is soothed, the redness is taken away. Just ones that help to really reset your skin and condition it and just, you know, help give it a little pat on the back. And we start with my favorite face mask of all time. I am 100% confident saying this. This is the one face mask that I've talked about in so many videos on my channel, the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. This mask, oh my. God. I am constantly recommending it to people because it is amazing. You know how people are like, oh my God, this face mask like transformed my face in like 10 minutes. And you're like, mm-hmm, sure, Linda. We all know it's just placebo. This one I have used on so many clients in the past because here in Hawaii, one of the main problems is that people tend to get sunburnt really easily. They come from California and they're like, my skin can handle the California sun. And then they go out into the sun, they realize, oh, Hawaii sun is not like California sun and they get burnt to a crisp. And for my friends and clients, this was the face mask that I would always recommend whenever I did use use it on them, their skin in 15 minutes. Literally, the redness would fade by like five shades. And every single time they'd always be like, holy shit, what is this face mask? It is so good. As far as the ingredients, the third ingredient is cucumber extract, which is a good ingredient for soothing redness and sensitivity and just overall hydrating the face without it feeling heavy. It also has papaya and pineapple extract, both of which can have some mild exfoliating abilities. Now, I'll be honest, the ingredient list isn't one that upon initially seeing it, you're like, wow, this product is incredible. I need to buy it now. It just looks like an okay ingredient list. But once you use it, I mean, man, that is truly what makes the crazy difference. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does have orange and lemon extracts. However, it's a wash off treatment. You only leave it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing it off. And with the incredible results, I don't see it as problematic. Whenever I have an allergic reaction to a skincare product, I always go in with this one and the results are the same every single time. It just reduces the redness sensitivity. I highly recommend it to anyone, honestly, but specifically people who struggle with a lot of sun exposure, sensitivity, redness, irritation reactions from skincare products. And because of how big it is, this thing lasts forever. I just cannot sing enough praises to this face mask. Next up, we have a recent find, the I'm From Mugwort Mask. Now this one I only discovered mm, 
in the past month and I instantly became a really big fan of it. Now the brand I'm from is a Korean skincare brand that's known for their really, really high quality formulas. And they are one of those brands that from time to time will formulate with some fragrance. And I'm like, uh, but then I look at the ingredient list of all their products and I'm just like, wow, they truly know how to just incorporate the best of the best ingredients into a formula and have all of their good ingredients at crazy high concentrations. It's just a brand that represents the best of the best skincare. And this mask has an ingredient called mugwort, which is known for reducing sensitivity and redness within the skin. It's a recent find for me and one that I've actually really been enjoying because I have seen good results in my skin for reducing redness and irritation. Mugwort is the fourth ingredient, but also has glycerin, a lot of good antioxidant root extracts, licorice root extract, which is gonna reduce redness and sensitivity, Centella asiatica, one of my favorite ingredients for reducing redness and irritation. And it also has some very, very, very mild natural exfoliants in it. Nothing that's off-putting though, because when I first put it on my skin, I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna scrub my skin into oblivion? But it's actually very gentle and does feel nice on the skin. I think it's one of those masks that's good for at the end of the day when you've seen some sun exposure, your skin's feeling a little irritated, or you just feel like you wanna soothe your skin down a little bit. It's definitely a good one to go in with. The texture is straight up weird. I'm just gonna say it right now. It is a very, very weird texture. I put it on my skin and I was like, wow, I look like I've rolled through cow shit and hay. And I can say that because I grew up on a ranch, so I know what that stuff looks like. But the results are honestly so good and I understand why this is such a high product. Just a really good mask. Also super high quality glass packaging that I'm definitely gonna be reusing it once I'm finished with this bottle. Very, very good. Next up is the Corez Hydrobiome Yogurt Probiotic Face Mask. This one is also a relatively recent find. I'd say within the past three months, I've come to really enjoy this product. Now, Corez is a brand that I want to love so much, but I have a hard time really loving because of how much fragrance they formulate their products with. I love Corez because they really try to source all of their ingredients from their own individual farms in Greece, which is really important for transparency and sustainability purposes. And in terms of the quality of their ingredients, they're very high quality ingredients, but they tend to just formulate with so much fragrance and a lot of irritating ingredients in their products that I'm not a fan overall. But this face mask, once I saw that it came out, I immediately was attracted to it. The second ingredient is yogurt. Now yogurt is really good for the skin because not only is it gonna help to reduce redness and sensitivity, but it also has lactic acid content, which is gonna help to exfoliate the face. And it's very high in its probiotic count. Now probiotics can be good for the skin in terms of reducing redness and irritation, but also just hydrating, plumping, and could potentially help with reducing types of fungal acne in the skin. Now that's not 100% promise. There's no substantial research showing that, but it is promising and I do like it when I see probiotics in skincare products, so long as they're not like a ridiculously high price point. This is also formulated with squalane, a really hydrating and moisturizing agent, as well as apricot kernel oil. So many other hydrating oils, good antioxidant ingredients, and sodium hyaluronate, a concentrated form of hyaluronic acid. I personally love this mask because every time I use it, my skin feels so soft and hydrated and plump afterwards. It's not anything crazy transformative, but honestly, that's something that I want. After I use a hydrating face mask, I don't want my skin to feel greasy or sticky. I want it to feel just soft, plumped, and hydrated, and this one delivers on that. Plus, I'm glad they came out with this mask because overall as a company, I really like their ethics and their standards and how high quality ingredients they use. And this is finally an excuse for me to support the company, but overall just really good face mask. Next up is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. I've talked about this one before in multiple videos about dry skin and people with eczema, but this one has a crazy high concentration. I'm talking the second ingredient is colloidal oatmeal. Now colloidal oatmeal has been used for a long time to soothe extreme dryness, flakiness, eczema, and other skin's concerns. And in my opinion, is one of the best skincare ingredients out there. I like this one because it's a great way of getting really good hydration, but not leaving it on your skin for too long that you feel like your skin is suffocating. I know a lot of people who do struggle with eczema or just extreme dry skin, sometimes also don't wanna feel like they have a layer of grease on the surface of their skin. And this mask just gives a good instant boost of hydration. It has a long list of hydrating ingredients as well as good antioxidants, Centella Asiatica, green tea, which is gonna soothe redness, plethora of hydrating oils, and it's fragrance free. Anyone who has really sensitive of dry skin, I always point them to this mask because it's just a good one. It has really high reviews. And honestly, you can just count on First Aid Beauty to have really stellar products. And then finally within this category, we have another mask from I'm From, their Honey Mask. This one I discovered about mm, five months ago. I am a fan. This I saw was so hyped on Instagram. So many people were posting about it all the time and I was like, really a honey mask? 
Like, why don't you just use honey? But after I received this from I'm From, I understand the hype. <laughs> this is formulated with 39% honey, so you're getting a crazy high concentration, as well as a high concentration of macadamia nut oil, which is gonna nourish and soften the skin. Honey is known for being a great skin soothing agent, but also really good for moisturizing and plumping the skin. And there's also a lot of really incredible potential other benefits from honey. It's just an ingredient that when you see in a skincare product, you know it's gonna deliver good results. I'm a huge fan of honey, and I honestly don't know why it's not formulated in more skincare products because of how many good benefits there are. It also has shea butter, jojoba oil, one of my favorite oils for nourishing the skin, but also reducing oiliness. It has snail secretion, another ingredient that's amazing for hydrating and plumping the skin. It has mugwort, the same ingredient as their other mask. Beta-glucan, an incredible ingredient for nourishing, hydrating, and softening the face. Honestly, you can usually only find in Korean skincare products, but it's just an incredible ingredient. And bee venom, an ingredient pretty much solely found in Korean skincare products, but could have a lot of potential benefits for reducing sensitivity and irritation within the face. It does have grapefruit and eucalyptus extract, but again, it's in a mask, it's wash off treatment, I don't find that problematic. What really sold me for this product was the experience. I'm normally not a person for smell and textures, but it literally just smells like this incredible honey dessert, which is amazing considering that this isn't formulated with fragrance beyond grapefruit and eucalyptus extract. It's just, you can definitely tell this has a crazy high concentration of honey. Ugh, I just, the smell is incredible. And when you put it on your skin, it does feel like you're putting honey on your skin, but it's not as sticky and gross. It feels more like a mask. But as soon as I remove this from my face, oh my gosh, you guys, my skin felt so, so soft. And I actually needed it because at the time I was traveling, I was going to the mainland where it was really dry. My skin struggles with dryness and eczema when I'm in dry climates. And as soon as I used this one, it was almost like I had new skin. <laughs> like my skin just felt so soft and hydrated. I instantly knew why people loved this mask and it became a favorite of mine. Wow, I didn't know that category was so long, but moving on to the next category, which is exfoliating face masks. And I only have two. First up, and this will come as no surprise to you guys, the Ordinary AHA BHA Solution. This one is awesome. I've talked about it in so many of my videos before. I love this product because it literally makes you feel like you have new skin. When you use this product for 10 minutes, you will wash it off and you're like, wow, where did all of my dead skin go? Why is my skin so glowy? Why does it look amazing? It's definitely the most powerful face mask in this video, which is why I hesitate to say it's my favorite face mask because I get a little bit nervous about how strong it is. This is formulated with 30% alpha hydroxy acids, which are gonna bulldoze the dead skin cells off of your face. And that's one of the highest concentrations that I've ever seen in a skincare product, as well as 2% beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid, which is gonna go deep into your pores and push out all the dead skin cells and excess oil and sebum. The reason I like this one is because it's very simple, but very effective. It just gives you what you need, no fancy frills, no extras. It does the job. And I tend to use this about once a month to once every two weeks. Now you can use this once a week, but I'd say that's the maximum you can use them. And that's why it isn't my favorite face mask because as opposed to the Peter Thomas Roth face mask. You can use that one literally all the time, every day if you want to. It's incredible, but this one you can only use a maximum amount. And if you use this mask, you absolutely have to wear a sunscreen. That is a must. You have to wear a sunscreen if you use this product because that's how powerful it is. I won't delve into this one too much. This one's been popping off online lately. You likely know this mask and why it's so good. And then the other exfoliating face mask is the Herbivore Blue Tanzing Mask. Now, Herbivore is a brand that I want to love with my whole heart, but I'll be 100% honest they use a crazy high concentration of essential oils. And this is a product that I will gladly admit is a hypocritical product on one of my guilty purchases. I have purchased this mask so many times, it's not even funny. And every time I use it, I am just like, wow. This is incredible. <laughs> as far as the ingredients, the first ingredient is aloe vera juice. It has glycerin. It has white willow bark, which is a natural form of beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid, and actually an incredible ingredient. I'm really a fan of it because you're getting the salicylic acid treatment, but in a much more gentle form. It also has papaya extract and pineapple extract, both of which are gonna exfoliate the face, as well as radish root ferment. The only thing I don't like about this is the blue tansy that they use. Now, blue tansy is technically considered an essential oil, but I will say I do like blue tansy for my skin because it reduces my redness so much. And the reason why I come back to this mask over and over and over again is because not only does it work so well just to get rid of all the dead skin cells on my face, like my skin looks so glowy, happy, and healthy, but in a way that's a little bit more comforting than this one because as much as I love this one, sometimes I worry about over exfoliating my face and I never have to worry about that with this one. But also this is the only exfoliating mask that when I take it off my skin, my skin looks less red. Typically when it comes to 
exfoliating mask, your skin is gonna look red afterwards. You're gonna wanna wait for the redness and sensitivity to just go away because you're literally bulldozing the dead skin cells off of your face. Of course your skin is gonna look red. But this one just reduces it so well and my skin feels so nice afterwards. So as much as it is kind of a contradiction to a lot of what I say on my channel, this is one of those guilty pleasure products that I just can't help but love. I rarely repurchase products because I have to try so many new ones for you guys, but I stand by it so hard. It's so good. And the glass packaging is so high quality. It's definitely one that I'm like, oh, I want to reuse that for so many things. Actually, as I'm going through these masks, I'm realizing that nearly all of them are glass. <laughs> Way to go, Hiram, environmentally sustainable. And then the final category, which is clay masks. Clay masks are arguably some of the most popular face masks on the market and typically ones that I really struggle to find good options for because most clay masks, in my opinion, are very, very stripping to the face and can just throw off your moisture barrier and can be really harsh. But I've managed to find a few that I am a fan of. The first is another recent find. It is the Folane Dual Detox Mask. Now, I actually got to meet the founder of Folane when I was doing some videos with Biosance and she is incredible. I really just think she's an awesome human being, but she actually was kind enough to give me her whole line. And I've been trying some of the products. Most of them don't work for me, but I love this one. This one has four different types of of clays, which is incredible. But the most amazing thing about it is that it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry, dehydrated and stripped, which is typically what happens with most clay masks. And I also think this mask is a good merge of clay and exfoliating mask because it's also formulated with lactic acid, glycolic acid and salicylic acid. But again, it's not super strong that you feel like it's really overly sensitizing your skin. It also has a lot of really good fruit extracts and hydrating oils, as well as ginger root extract, a very high quality antioxidant ingredient. I'm a fan of this one because I looked at the ingredient list and I was like, wow, that is impressive, but it looks like it's going to be super harsh and a really intense mask. But on the contrary, it wasn't at all. It applies on the skin very nicely. It doesn't overly strip your skin. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting. When you wash off, you notice good results, but it's not anything crazy transformative that would make you worry about wrecking your moisture barrier or over sensitizing or over exfoliating your skin. And in my opinion, out of all of the masks that I've mentioned in this video, probably the best bang for your buck because it includes so many ingredients ingredients found in the other face masks all in one product. I'm really happy I found this one actually. Next is the Clear Improvements face mask by Origins. I've talked about this one multiple times, but I haven't repurchased it after I ran out of my first two because I've just been trying a bunch of new clay masks. This one is probably the only product I like from Origins and I like it because it has three different types of clays. Clays are really amazing for drying out excess oil and sebum in the skin and impurities and really just making you feel like your skin is overall just really clean and are particularly attractive to people who have combo combination or oily skin. It does have charcoal, which can be sensitizing to the skin, but it's formulated at a lower concentration than all the other clays. And I don't find it worrisome. I like this mask because it's very simple, but effective. It gives you the clay mask experience that you want without any frills, without any fanciness, and it's fragrance free. It's just one of those masks that's really easy to find at most Sephora's, Macy's, Ulta, that you can just count on to give you the results that you want. And then finally, the Alginist Probiotic Balancing Mask. I really like this clay mask because it's probably the most hydrating clay mask that I've ever found. Now this one, like the others, has three different types of clays, but the first ingredient is glycerin and it has propanediol. Both of those ingredients are going to be really moisturizing and hydrating to the face and ensure that your skin's moisture barrier isn't wrecked after using this clay mask. It has a lot of different ferments, all of which have a bunch of really different benefits, but overall are really good for nourishing, hydrating, and softening the skin, as well as helping to prevent against bacteria buildup on the surface of your skin. And it has a lot of really soothing plant extracts. This one is a little bit more on the luxury side, but I love it because it's very gentle, but effective. I can count on this one to give me my clay mask experience without having to worry about overly stripping my skin. And on the flip side, actually really, really hydrating it. You don't have to use very much. And in terms of ingredients, I just think it's a very high quality product and definitely one that I found myself turning back to over and over and over again, more so than other clay masks that I've used. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. I don't know why, and it's super freaking hot. I am dripping in sweat. But I hope you guys liked all of these face mask recommendations. I am so sorry it took me so damn long to do that. Like, Jesus, Hiram, get it together. But I honestly can stand behind all of these recommendations, and I really hope that if you guys are looking for some good face masks to invest in, you hopefully found some in this video, because these ones are bomb AF. Do you guys have any other face mask recommendations that you love as well? Comment them down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm always looking for new skincare. So if you have some that have just blown your mind or incredible formulas, I want to know about them. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless that's focused on empowering you to make a positive difference in the world. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.